Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Isaac Hernandez. I like to study, teach, and make music. So I'm going to show you how to make a beat from the ground up here in Reaper. So the very first thing that we're going to do, of course, make a new track. Here we're going to need two things. So one is the sequencer that comes with Reaper. Pick the Mega Baby. That's the one that we want. And then the second one, it's called the Empty power drum kit the plugins that we need are linked in the description and they're completely free here we go skip and then here what happens here is that this sequencer is going to trigger this drum kit there is already a great tutorial on the technical inner workings of the sequencer by the one and only Kenny Joya. So the way this works is that if you go into the settings of this kit, each one of these par parts of the kit is mapped to a, a MIDI key. So for example, kick is on C1. If you do nothing and just leave it here, you see your first key here is C1. So if you start clicking, uh, highlighting notes in the sequencer, you start getting those notes. So how do you actually make a beat using a sequencer? And why a sequencer? Sequencer is very, very simple. And it shows you, here we have one measure made of four beats. These red columns represent each beat. And as you can see, each one is subdivided into four mini beats. They're called 16th notes, but we don't have to worry about that right now. So if I highlight each downbeat on the kick, that's what we're gonna get. The snare is mapped to D1, and I'm gonna put it on beats two and four. So the very basic backbeat has this two, these two things here. Is the kick on beat one and three, and the snare on two and four. Immediately you'll recognize. And what I want you to take away from this is that when you're making a beat, Start with this, start with the backbeat and then start tweaking things. For example, maybe I add, I add another hit here. You know what I mean? Or maybe I move it over here and then maybe I get the kick on all four beats. And I don't think I like that, but I'll add it here. And then I'll add maybe a hi-hat, I believe is F sharp one. And look what happens. Eighth notes, and then this is really the basic backbeat. The cool thing about this is that you can go back to the kit later on and go to mixer. And for example, the snare is a little too high for my taste, so you can lower it. The idea here is that you should be tinkering around with this. Now let's make a different pattern. And I want to keep the kick and maybe just the snare and I will go back to this. And then let's make a third one and I'm thinking this one will be a transition. I'm keeping things very, very simple. But here I have three different patterns already. And let's go back to the first one. Boom, we have three beats already. So now to start drawing this here, control, draw one measure. Let's zoom in a little bit. What happens when I draw my note on C5? That's my first pattern. Move it to C sharp. Move it here. And here we're gonna make a time selection and we're gonna loop this part. The next thing we're gonna add is bass. So this second plugin it's completely free, also linked in the description. Now, what approach should you take when making a bass line? The concept that I like to keep in mind is this. Less is more. Think about leaving space. And what I like to often go with is pick two, maybe three notes, and try to find a rhythmic pattern that really sinks in with your drum beat. And this is going to take just tinkering around, especially if you don't have a background in, in piano performance. And notice also there is different ways to play this note. You can play long note. You can play a short note. You can play it low. You can play it loud. So the way you attack these notes is going to be different. And I would say if you're just getting going with this, one to five notes, five notes max. And then I'm just going to experiment and try to get something going. And that's why we have that loop.
And notice how there is a con I'm trying to get a contrast between short notes and maybe a long accented note in here. And already I can hear that my pattern is going to be two beats, uh, two measures long. Something that I'm noticing that I'm maybe not liking is that it's a little too slow for me. So I'm going to change the tempo just to 115 and see how something's there. It just seems that that bass line might sit better. I chose not to hang on to these notes too long and the reason being I want to leave space because there is other stuff that's going to come on top of your beat. So you don't want to shoot yourself in the foot by putting too many things right from the get go and then there is no room later on and then your beat can get a little wonky or too busy and, and overwhelming. Okay, so the very next part of our beat is going to be adding harmony, chords, pads, whatever you want to call it. This step is for me sometimes optional because it can be a little bit hard to find the right chords that you need here but as a general rule of thumb is if melodies um is singular is one note at a time and chords would be two or more notes at the same time and what am i doing here to place it on the grid i was kind of jamming a little bit and i came up with Why I said not to make your bass line too busy and to leave space is because now I'm putting my chords and everything else that's coming on top of my beat in those spaces. So let's add one more thing here. Two measure phrase, four measures total. Here we go. Here what I try to do with the melody it's play, I've played a lot of uh, staccato or short notes um, in my bass line and in the pad. So I wanted to change it so these can kind of sit on top and I started going legato and that's what I was trying to do here. Think about contrast, right? I got a lot of staccato going in my bass line, a lot of staccato going in my pads. Let's switch it up and I started going legato, playing long notes. Now this is where we tend to get stuck. The next part that we're going to mess around with is called arranging. And this is, now you have four puzzle pieces to play with. So right away, what I'm gonna do is move these, move everything towards the right. And I wanna create maybe a one measure intro. I'm gonna make a MIDI file here. That's my intro right there. And then I'm gonna keep moving things around a little bit. And now I wanna set a drum groove before anything for two measures. Keep moving things over and then duplicate this. Here, using the pieces that you have, copying and pasting are gonna be your best friend. And I'm gonna put my bass line here and this is actually gonna need to get doubled. And we're gonna delete these for right now here double this and see how we start to get mileage out over the pieces that we have so the concept here is that i'm adding one element at the time and this is think about the listener i don't want to overwhelm them each part i wanted to sit in before then i bring in the next one and again these rules are not written in stone for <laughs> everything every suggestion that i give you, you can find probably a bunch of exceptions but this is just something to to get you going and yes, the better you get, the more you'll tinker around with this and experiment with different formulas, different patterns, different arrangements. So let's add another MIDI item here, to C5. Just keep the pads. Let's see how that works. And then now I have a different section going on. And then I wanna double this here and get this over here. And so let's add another section here. I wanna double this. And here I'm literally just playing around with uh, sections. And this is how we go with four pieces. You start just playing around with them like a puzzle and just seeing different combinations. I arrange everything differently and mess around and see what 
what gets going and maybe at this point it's like okay the material is getting kind of old and I need something new so this is a lot of experimentation and we start from the bottom up again drums then bass then pads harmony chords whatever you want to call it and at the end melody I hope this helped if you have any questions definitely leave them in the comment section